Scientists are working on new ways to tackle the problem of common carp in Minnesota lakes. The invasive fish are voracious eaters. They root around the bottom of the lake, stirring up sediment and damaging native plants. They also release phosphorus, which spurs algae growth. The Minnesota Aquatic Invasive Species Research Center is leading the project on Lake Fremont in Sherburne County, which has roughly 38,000 invasive carp. Researchers tagged about 150 of them with microchips so they could track their movements. Then they set up large nets baited with cracked corn to capture a lot of carp at once. Using a crane, they lifted the net and emptied the fish into the boat. They'll count them, then estimate the total number of carp in the lake and how many they need to remove to return the lake to a healthy level. Eventually, the fish will be composted. Once the carp population has been reduced, scientists want to know how Lake Fremont's ecosystem will respond. They'll analyze water samples and study native fish and plants to see if they bounce back. The tools and techniques could help lakes across Minnesota get their common carp populations under control. It won't be an overnight cure, but researchers hope over the four-year project, they'll see clearer lakes, fewer algae blooms, and more native fish.